Hello friends, I am Kaveria sir here again uh, to explain you about what do you mean by the word output devices. So I hope you might have seen my video of input devices and you might have understood what are the different input devices or input sensors which I can connect to my Arduino. If you have not seen, please friends see all the videos and then see this video so that it will understand the concept more better. And a very important thing that if you really like this contents, you please like, subscribe and share and please don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you can get the notification of my videos first or as soon as it is uploaded. Fine friends, let's have a look to the output devices which can be connected to my Arduino. Now friends, what is this? Guess what it is. Yes, correct. You are everyone correct. It is LED, light emitting diode. Now this can be used for visual indication. Like it can give a green color, yellow color, blue color, white color, many different types of color, many different sizes, shapes, these are available. This is, this generally LEDs are of 5 mm diameter, uh, smaller than this, it's available in 3 mm diameter. So this LED can give us the visual indication. Even I'll show you the LED of bigger size. Yes friends, now these are the LEDs of 10 mm with different colors like green, yellow, red. I'm sorry friends, uh, all you know we are in the lockdown and I'm showing you the product or the LEDs which are looking like gems or the jelly sweets. So I hope it may be tempting you. I'm sorry you cannot eat it. You can only see its color. Now what is one of the application of this LEDs? One of the simple application of this LED is you can make the traffic signal by using three colors LEDs that is red, yellow and green. So I can have a green signal, I can have a yellow signal and I can have a Red signal. This is one of the simple applications. Another is, uh, another application is I can have a visual indication as presence and absence of rain or presence and absence of touch or presence and absence of uh, what you say is the water. Fine. So this is one of the simple application. Now to turn an on and off the LED, uh, I have to give logic 1 and logic 0. LEDs can be interfaced to digital pins D0 to D13 and these pins are to be set as output pins. Now to set as output pin, what I have to do? I have to use pin mode function. So friends, if you don't know pin mode functions, go and watch my video on functions. So that will help you out. Now a voltage 1 will glow the LED on the digital pin and a voltage 0 will turn off the LED on my uh, digital pin. So presence and absence of voltage on the digital pin will turn on and off the value. So with a pin mode function, I can define the pin as output and I can interface the LED and digital write high will turn on the LED and digital write low will turn off the LED. But depends how the LED is interfaced. Even a reverse voltage also may be used to turn on and off the LED. It depends how exactly I am interfacing my LED. Yes friends, this is the another output device. These are the black color ones are relays and this relays can be used to control the high voltage or high current application. So on one side, I can connect the output of Arduino and the other side, I can connect the high voltage or high current applications. Now to this relay, one pin is VCC, one pin is ground and two pins are input for the relay. These pins can be connected to any of the pins between D0 to D13 of the Arduino and pin is to be set in the output mode and to work with this, I can use the function called as digital write. For more details of digital write, see my video on functions. And to this output, I can connect uh, what you say the high voltage devices. For more details of the uh, relay, I have another video in that I will be giving you the only concept how exactly the relay works. So this relay can be used to interface motor. Fine. But because motor is high current device, I can use water pump, I can use buzzer. So this relay is acting as an actuator for particular motor or particular pump. I hope you must have understood the concept of what is release. So I have told you the example of water dispensing or the sanitizer dispensing. In that case, I will use this relay as for controlling the motor or controlling the pump. Fine. I hope this is clear. Now, this is motor. Now, this is a geared motor. This motor can be used in uh, making the robots or it can be used for rotating the device also. Now suppose if I want to now suppose if I want to rotate 
the ultrasonic sensor as I've told you in the input video. What I can do, I can connect this ultrasonic sensor like this and this can move as my motor rotates. Or to this motor, I can con connect this wheel and this wheel can rotate and can move. For controlling this motor, I need a relay board or another circuit which is called as driver. So friends, this is a driver circuit to drive the motor. Now why I need driver? Because motor is high current device and my Arduino cannot give that much current. So to amplify that current, I have to use this driver. In this uh, driver, the IC is L293D. And this one particular driver can drive two motors. So to this, I can have two motors. And for details of motor, you can see my video on motors. So details of motor, you can see in my videos of motor and how to use that particular motor. Now this is another actuator or the output device which is water pump. Now these are submersible water pump. Submersible means I can put inside the water. So water will be input from here and it will be output from here. So again take an example of that sanitizer dispensing. What I can do? I can connect this pump to my relay board and a sensor. So at the moment somebody puts hand, this pump will start and it will dispense the sanitizer or it can dispense the water or it can dispense the soap water you might have seen uh, in malls in washrooms there are automatic water dispensing so there are ir sensors and such water pumps or there are electronic relays which can turn on and off the water i hope one of the concept is clear to you how this use the how to use this particular motor or uh, output device so friends up till now i hope you might have understood what is input device that is in my video of input devices and in this uh, particular video, I am explaining you what are the output devices. So output devices are one which will give output to the real world. Now this is one more uh, output device. This is also actuator and this is a relay lock. So this is a lock. So this can be used to lock or unlock. Now suppose if I want that lock should automatically open when I put a torch on. So the moment I put a light on, this relay, relay will be operated or this relay switch will be operated and it will turn on the or open the door or close the door. So this is output device. Even like your relay, like your motor, like your LED or like your buzzer, this particular lock is also working on ones and zeros. And this can be interfaced to 0 to 13 pins and can be controlled with a function called as digital write. This is the simplest output device like LED. Now this is buzzer. LED is giving you visual indication and this buzzer will give you audible indication. Now this can also be connected to uh, D0 to D13 output pins and this output pin can be controlled with digital write. High will uh, blow, uh, buzz the buzzer and low will stop the buzzer. Now where this can be used? So let's say if there's a burglar alarm, if uh, there's a burglar at the door, it can be fine. Another thing it can be used to uh, show the completion of timer in the washing machine or in the microwave oven it will beep after that fine turning on and off the device can be beeped so these are the different applications of the beep and friends in my one of the videos i'll show you how this beep can be used to generate different tones and in that i'll be showing you how this buzzer can be used to generate twinkle twinkle little star so wait for that particular video now friends i hope you might have understood what are input devices and what are output devices uh, what are input devices and what are output devices so friends using these devices at the input and using these devices at the output i can make many different combinations of hardware now one of the applications i've explained to you that is to fight with covid 19 i can make soap dispensing as well as sanitizer dispensing friends really if you have at your home a pump uh ir sensor and the arduino you can try with this experiment and definitely will love this that you are creating something for contribution for this COVID-19 and to maintain uh, the safe distancing and the sanitization. Fine, uh, this much is clear to you and in the further videos, I will be explaining you how to use these uh, sensors and how to use these actuators and make small small applications of Arduino. Thank you friends.